All right. You guys. Come. Yeah, you can come forward. Okay. Round down. Okay, turn. One, two, three. 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 And one, two, and three. Palms down. Okay. Right hand up. Eyebrow level. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, and three. Palms in front, down. One, two, three to your right. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Inhale. Exhale. Up. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Thumbs up. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Thumbs up. Inhale. Exhale. Thumbs in your waist. Circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Okay, palms, rotate, knee rotations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Neck exercises. Turn to your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Tilton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Rotations. One, two, and three. Switch. One, two, and three. Perfect. Open up. Heels out. Toes out. Heels out. Turning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, and 10. Interlace your fingers, turn to your right, stretch. Switch. 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 Okay, switch, turn your foot. Switch. Okay, up. You know, bend the waist, stretch. Switch, other side. Switch. Switch one more time. Okay, middle. Turn to your right. Okay, middle. Just go as far as you can. So you're gonna bend your right leg. Okay, switch. Both toes down, if you can. Switch. 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 Okay, middle. Okay, yep, shake it out, keep breathing.
Inhale. One. Two. And three. Okay, palms up. Knee raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. To the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Shake it out. Deep breathing. One, two, and three. Okay, punching, palms in your waist, right hand up. Okay, punch to your center. Switch. So Max, try to extend your elbow. There you go. Okay, switch to the side. Okay, switch, left side. Okay, next, pull palms up, turn the waist, continue. Okay, next, edge of the fist. Okay, switch. Okay, next, palms in front, circle. Okay, back fist. Okay, switch. And last punch, palms down. Okay, horse stance. Feet three inches apart. Bend your knees. 
Okay, one, two, three, four. Slightly bend the knees. Okay, punch him with your right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, close. Low block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Extend, close. One, two, and three. Middle block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Extend, close. One, two, and three. High block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Extend, close. One, two, and three. Low block, middle, high. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. Extend, close, one, two, and three. Low block, punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Close. Middle block, punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Close. High block and punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Full pause in front, close, okay, palms together, open up, bend the last three fingers, thumb, okay, press to the side, one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay, back, low, one, Two, three, four, five, and six. Eyebrow level. One, two, three, four, five, six. In front. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Thrust, turn, close. Okay, one, two, three, four. Shake it out. Deep breathing. Inhale. One, two, and three kicks. Take your right foot, bring it back. Should be leaning stance. Okay, front, in step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Switch. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Okay, switch. Front heel kick. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. Okay. Left side, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Okay, next, straight up. Try not to bend the knee. Palms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Switch. Okay, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Okay, switch. Roundhouse to the waist, your waist level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, and two. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, and two. Okay, deep breathing. One, two, and three. Okay, last set of kick. Roundhouse to your hand. So that's your own level. Of your head, palms up. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, and two. Okay. Okay, left side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One and two. Okay, shake it up. Deep breathing. One, two, and three. Get a quick drink of water, then we'll come back. We'll review the floor.
All right. You guys ready? Okay. Perfect. Oh, there was someone in there. Let me see. Um, let's start with the five stances, then we can break it off. Um, Paul, would you be able, uh, after we do the five stances, take a couple of people? Okay, ready? Start with the five stances. One, two, three. Press one, turn. One, two, one. Two, three, one, two, three, one. Salute. Actually, I actually do the other one, but it's actually this one. One, two, slice them, turn, punch, step up, remove, turn, punch, shift your weight, cross step, spin, back fist. One, two, three. Up, up, chop, uppercut, and close. Okay, one, open up, two, three. Step up, remove, turn, punch, shift your weight, cross step, back fist, step up. Punch, back, leaning, up, chop, uppercut, close, okay, one, two, three, remove, turn, shift your weight, cross step, spin, punch your elbow, back fist, eyebrow level, one, two, Three, one, two, three, and close. Okay, last, one, two, three, turn, one, two, shift your weight, three, spin, four, five, six, one, two, three, Four, five, close, shake it out, deep breathing, one, two, and three. Do you guys want to go with Paul? Then we can do um, first. Have you started? You haven't started the second. First. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Two hundred. Stay. So actually, I was gonna, um, cause uh, Rose, she started learning Gunji. We'll have time to review Gunji. Okay, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one. Open, one, two, three, chop, scoop, press, kick, punch, one, and two, slice the punch, step up, set up your palms, diagonal punch, middle, dragon, cross step, spin, palm, scoop, press, kick, Switch, thrust, open, chop, diagonal punch, play kick, phoenix eye, step up, slice the punch, left hand comes on top, set up, elbow, strike down, back fist, step, one, 
two, slice step, punch, set up your hands, diagonal, double block, middle, dragon, cross step, spin, palm, scoop, press, kick, switch, thrust, open, chop, diagonal, play, phoenix eye, set up your palm, one, cross step, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, slice step, four, one, two, three, scissors fingers, set up, one, cross step, two, step up, thrust, three, one, two, and three. Deep breathing. One, two, and three. All right, we're gonna do the third form. So, come. Okay, Iris, do you wanna, Iris, do you wanna maybe, okay, we still have a fourth form. Okay, Max, can you come for a little bit? Okay, you ready? Palms. Okay, begin. One, two, three, step, punch. One, up, step. One, two, three, leaning, step up, punch. Make sure you're in a leaning stance. Good. Cross step, grab, pull, elbow. Horse stance, back fist. Set up your palms, shoulder height, thrust, pull, high block. Change your fist, scoop. Set up your palms, one, up, one, two, three, thrust, punch, uppercut. Knee stance, grab. One, step, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, change your stance, leaning, one, two, three, two, chop, hook, Back fist, cutting hand. One, two, three, leaning. Step through, punch. Set up your hands, step, elbows, and elbows. Deep breathing. Well, we learn these forms, you know, we learn sequential uh, type things, but then once you learn the sequence, we have to sort of understand some of the principles and concepts in the form, and, and the positions become more important. So, you know, we have hand positions, and we have leg positions. The hand position, I like hand postures, leg positions, I guess stances, and so forth, and then the technique involved. So, with the mantis, this movement you should practice it like this. It's not just a hop, it's, it's stomping, but the, the action is that this knee goes up and you hold that position. So we have to all you know, try that to get that to happen. So you're here, and then you start to move. So you get much more control of your, your position. So do that again. So do it in front of the mirror. Never mind, I don't want to do it. See, 
It's, yeah. it's good when you see yourself in the mirror because a lot of times when you're doing movements, you don't actually yeah. see yourself. No. So, so Max, you can stand here. We're going to ha have a... As soon as I get my stand, the other mirror will be there. So Max, you can... Yeah, here's another mirror. You can shift down a little. Yeah, so... You, yeah, Max, you can stand here. Oh, you have that? Oh, okay, good. So you go like that, and then you hop. Then you hop. So you have this action, you're like this. See, so there's a, that, so your leg's going up and your foot is going down. You see that? So when you're here, and then you take your steps. So the sliding step is actually one, two. So the knees are synchronized, they work together. So that's what you, yeah. And you, when you go here, then you have to sink into your stance. So that's, yeah, right. Okay, good. So that's something, so anything that's kind of brought up, then there's something you practice as a concentrated dose of that. Uh, something like this, it's shoulder level, not down here. So these are, uh, you pick up, you know, these positions when you watch your instructors or whatever, yeah. Um, ginger knuckle, everybody know what a ginger knuckle is? Yeah, so ginger knuckle is a, you th it's like throwing a ball, like you're pitching a baseball. So when you do this, what you have to pay attention to is the body form, throw the, throw the knuckle, right? See, so you turn, your body should turn like this a little bit, so you twist your, your so your body has to twist more. Iris, look at yourself when you throw it. You have to twist more. Yeah, see, so, so see how my, my shoulder is twisted. Because, yeah, so, so when you're throwing it, you're like this. So you, if you stay here, you don't have the reach. You have to turn. So it gives you that high, your body's wound up, boom. Now because we're twisted here, when we drop on this side and we hook, we're gonna pull back, right? So you, one, two, the elbow goes up. Then you drop your elbow, the hand comes to here. The hand comes to here, and then you're like this, you see? So it's, it's beginning to get your body to integrate with the waist. So when we're here, you have your twist, you have your dip, one, two, three, four. So a lot of it is realigning your body so when you move, it doesn't become just your hand movement. We call that isolated movement because if you do it like this, it doesn't work because the body can't avoid. Because if he throws a punch high and I go like this and then he punches toward me again, I have to capture this and then if he punches again, I have to turn like this. So that, what you're doing is this. And the body creates the position. So that's really what's happening. So do you turn this far? No, you turn to here. Your shoulder's 45 degrees. It doesn't go like this. And there's a reason for that because if you go like this, then your hands separate. You're dealing with a space here. So you have to work within the realm of the space. Because space is relative, relative position. So you have to work within the realm of your space. So if this is the temple, if this is the hook here. So I'm still working within the realm of my center line. See, so everything is working on that line. That's something you have to track because like if you're sparring, something comes here, you have to block, right? So you have to deal with your center line. Not out here because there's nothing out there. So that's what you're learning as a skill using the form. The body form teaches you that. So when we're here, you know, if we're here and we turn like this, we're sliding like that. So there's your side position and this is here. So this is as if it's capturing something as you're pulling. This is separating. Now when we turn, this just has to do this 
and punch. Okay, so that's that movement that's on the back side. Yeah. So we're here. So this is drawing. So as the body turns, your hands separate. As we adjust the feet, then this goes to here. All right. So say we're here. All right. Let's punch over there. Now the next movement's going to do this. One. And then we're going to do this as we turn the foot out. And then this foot's going to come here. And we're like this. So this hand is horizontal. This hand, both hands are like this. Then when we fold like this, you see this and the foot. So we're one, two, three, four, five. So the action, the coordination is crisscross, equal opposite. So the hands go one, two, three. So that's doing it a little faster, but you can't pick up on it. So you have to break it down here. One, two, three. Vertical, horizontal, horizontal. And you see the body's twisted. Now if you look at the feet, this is coming around and hooking to here. Now you shouldn't go beyond this foot because then you're going to lose your balance. It stops about here. So that's on your center line. So the line is here, you see. Right. So all your sweeps would be like that. If it's the fourth form, you're here. If it's the third form, you're here. So the timing of movement has to be sort of sharing on this level. You know. So whenever movements go like this and like this, it's a sharing like this where they go opposite. It's like scissors. You know how scissors work? It has a pivot point. You put pressure here, and this action does that. It creates a force in opposite directions. So they meet in the center, then they cross. It, as a force, it actually is shearing. You, so you're splitting it. So that's, so that's the concept. So the, the action, you know, I talk about vertical and horizontal a lot. So what's vertical? That's vertical, that's vertical. This is horizontal, horizontal. So horizontal movements go right to left. Vertical movements go forward and back or up and down, right? And then the slant movements are the oblique. So it's no different in Tai Chi, it's no different in Kung Fu. When we're here, there's your horizontal. If I went like this, here's my horizontal and here's my vertical. When I switch, I'm passing through vertical till I get the horizontal and then it goes right to left. This goes here. This goes here. So that's reversing the ball, and you switch. Fold, turn, turn your waist, boom. So what you have to do is get used to turning your back. Because the back movement is really what's going to create the action for you to counteract the motion. See, So this waist movement that we're talking about actually is built right from the beginning. When we do this, when we do this, that's actually building some torso range of movement flexibility. But because that's a, a, a plane of movement, when we're dealing with dimension, when you pass through, your body has to create all of these you know, minute things, really a control thing that is built into your body. So you know, while we have that action, when we do this, it's the same twisting. When we cover and punch, we chun and punch, it's the same torso action. It's just that we, we only look at the punch. We're only looking at the fist. We don't want to look at the fist. We want to look at the whole body. This is after sequence because most of the focus when you're learning sequence is memorizing. Once you've memorized the sequence, you have to go back and fix the body movements. And, that's part that, and that, that process continues forever because your body is constantly adapting because you can't pick up every nuance 
immediately because you don't see it. But the thing is, when you're here and you're hooking your foot, this position and this position, there's one inside and one outside. So the outside is a transition. This comes together and this. So that's your hip. Your hip has to twist. And so that's a control factor. So, so let's try that whole form again. See if we can put some of those things into it, right? So we start off. Yeah, start off. So when we go like this, this is what? Lower hoop. Press. One. Two. Three. So now we're still facing like this. Not turning like this. Because if you turn like this, you go into a weakness. So you're here. Your leg is here. Now when we switch, we're going to hop off of this, push off of this, and then strike. Now that's breaking it down. Together, it would be that. Now we drop. And then we switch, and we're here. Hop. One, two, three, pop. Okay. So you want to tuck your thumb in and then step through and punch. Okay. And then grab, fold the elbow and grab. Punch. Step down, set up your hand, elbow. Back fist. Turn. Thrust. Pull. High. Ginger knuckle. Twist. Get your body way into that. Turn. Hop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. Lunge. Step through, punch. Okay, sink your elbow and grab. And pull back. Push. Push. Elbow up. Elbow up. And high. Turn. Okay, so a couple of things in there. Right? So, so once we, here, when we do the uppercut, it should be here. So if we look in the mirror, we're like this. Okay, so if we're like this, without turning the body, it looks more like this. When you twist, you see the hand start to align over the top. Okay, then we hop. After the step, we lunge. Then this catches here, right? Let's do it again. Stomp, uppercut. See if you find that position. So the important thing is the twist. Okay. So that's using your waist. Then we hop again. One, two, three. Lunge. Now step through. Punch. Okay. So you're on your center. Grab. Shift. Now come right through your center. Pull. And this turns here and then turn. So your hand should be a little bit beyond center. So your hand should be here. See, a little bit beyond center. Oh, here. Oh. See, your center, see? Lean, lean forward, knee, 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 more, more, more. Yeah, so why beyond center? Because when we're here, and this is here, you actually not, don't have your strength in the position. It's here. You see what I mean? So this position and this position is right and left. That's the position you have when you're here. Right? And your center. So this is here. Then we turn. And you look at the mirror, because that's the direction. OK, so let's do that again. One, two. So don't look that way. Stay this way. OK, one, two, three. OK, so that's just cycling over and over again. That's the motion. 
you block, you grab. You grab, you push. See, that's a cycling of that movement. Okay, grab, push. So drive from the leg. This actually is here. Because there's your center, your nose, and between the hands. Turn. Okay, so this elbow should be a little bit parallel because you're holding this in this way. Then you turn. Yeah. And then relax that shoulder. See? And then push back again, pull back again. And then push. And then drop this little. Yeah. Turn. Push. Yeah. Turn. Push. Turn. Push. Okay, then once you get here, you scoop. You're going to scoop an elbow. So let's just use the mirror as a guideline. We're here. Hook. Right. And then hook. So here. One. Two. Dip down and lift. Adjust high. Now the hand is here. This has to drop and then merge. See? So if we just do this, you, you miss the transition here. Go from here, you have to drop, step. Because we always have to build an integration of the right and left sides as a relationship. That's coordination. And the more you practice and the more you learn, the more your body becomes integrated as, as intelligence. Because it's building this. This is a standard procedure, just like this. Right? We see it here. Now we should see it here. See, that's a natural course of the evolving. So you have to discover that in some way. People practice it long enough and take that concept. And we start to de develop an understanding that movement is category. It's in a category of movement. So a cutting hand or dropping pump, a cutting hand, these are all part of some of the transition that the body learns. Because when we learn something, the body programs it into the system. Now if you recognize it, the body will start to discover that those are similar. So that's like cross-referencing, it's like cross-training. All these, this information becomes something the body has retained and then you, you own it. It becomes part of your movement. And that's what you know, all, you know, all martial artists should be striving for. Or as an art form, you develop this body intelligence, body understanding. And you can use that as part of you know, how you move. You, you start to evolve, and it becomes, you know, just when we talk about body intelligence, it becomes functionality. When we move our body, and we're using it in certain ways, it becomes something that you can relate to. So while we're doing that with these movements, if you do a lot of physical things, whether it's regardless of what it is, your body develops a naturalness and it figures out how to do that more efficiently. So it's, you know, it's, a, it's just part for the course. So is it time? Okay, so let's bow out. So it's just uh, food for thought. Ready? Go. Two, three. Salute. Okay. Okay. So we have a new schedule coming out. So next week, the, the Thursday class will be on Friday. You can come in if you can. And then, uh, you know, there's also uh, a mixed class that day. And then there's conditioning after that. So, so if you can come in on Fridays, if you're here, they can do that. You can practice your forms. You can help out if you're here. They need it. Yeah. We're about ready. Okay. She's in here. Oh. Wow, you got good sweat. Friday? Yeah, yeah. It's a mixed intermediate and, and above. So there'll be some youth uh, advance. So if that happens, is then they'll probably split the class up because they'll probably the six to seven thirty will be 
it'll be mixed. We don't know who's going to show up, but if they split it up, then, you know, as you evolve, you can just uh, work with that group. The people that know other forms that are more advanced, they'll probably work on that group side. Is it? On Friday. Is it 6.30? Night? So Friday is 6.30 or it starts at 6, right? Friday? Friday? I don't know. I don't, this is the membership. It's oh. over there. The schedule's over uh, there. It's, uh, it, it's still... Friday, it's, if you change it to 6.30. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, where's Mina? Because mine... My, uh, let me see. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to be an hour and a half. Yeah. It's still what? supposed to be an hour and a half. It is? Yeah. Which one? The, the you told me conditioning was conditioning's this after. Is oh, the, which one is? It's okay. Oh, the, yeah. The, the conditioning's hour. Yeah. yeah. That should be um, yeah, seven thirty to eight thirty. This is supposed to start at six, but six. To, That's a regular. This is seven thirty. No, those. Are, so these are supposed to be hour and a half. Yeah. So these are supposed to start at six. Yeah. Let me find out from mine. Because you tell me. No, it was a mixed class, it, intermediate and advanced. But it's that the third. It's, it's the Thursday class that shift to Friday. Okay. So that, let me let me find out if he can make it at six. Because that was his. That was what was. Because he can't make it at five there because he's at the VA tool. So mine, mine should Friday's class starts at six, right? Or six thirty. Which one? Her class. This class. Yeah, the youth starts at... Six. Should be six, yeah, right? Yeah, should be six. Yeah, should be six, yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, so should, it should be six. What? Should be six. Six to 7.30? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that, but... It was, it was, uh, it was between... Yeah. You have to let Eric know, Eric, because Sarah and Sabrina, because I, I told him five. Oh, you told him five? Yeah. yeah. Remember you asked me... Yeah, yeah. So, yeah told him 5 o'clock? Yeah, because when uh, Sibu asked me to think about the time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was yeah, thinking about that. So, oh, okay. But at 5, because uh, he leaves the VA at 5, at 4.30 to 5. You can, you... I'm here by 5. Oh, okay. okay. So they can come at 5 and okay. just practice. You know, okay. that's just the class starts at okay. 6. So, if Rose wants to practice more, when should she... Should... She, she, Out of these, I know we're coming to this six to seven thirty. Yeah. Um, yeah. So six to seven thirty, and then the conditioning is like, um, like the old sparring class because oh. maybe Toss will come back and do that one. Oh, this one. Yeah, okay. he can do conditioning okay. too. Yeah. But so but you know, yeah. But but you know when you when you're here and and you don't you've already done the class and people are here you can still practice. You know, you can spend time practicing on your own. You know, a lot of it's, it's not just doing a class. A lot of it is just practicing. So, but the conditioning is they're doing the drills, and we're just trying to see who else will come. But definitely, like Sabrina and Sarah uh, said, they were coming on the Friday nights. That's why we moved it then. And, and uh, Minor can't teach on Thursdays because he's back at school. Okay. Yeah. And then we can come to this. Yeah, yeah, Saturday. Yeah. So it's Tuesday. Thursday, it's the yeah. Same the it's a, yeah. Friday, Thursday, yeah, yeah. Friday. And then this is this the, the family membership? Is, wait, which one is which one is the first? Yeah. So, the, so so we what we did was we um, tried to simplify a lot of the things. So we had the family discount thing, but this what the family discount thing is buying the blocks. The blocks of this that's 13 classes for that, but then that's a family discount. You get, the, get see this normally a 13 block, it's, you can't share it. It's only one person buys that. This one's the family, 15% off, off of that. Yeah, and this, but the family members can share it. So you could, like if you, you know, so whichever ones you use up and then you can buy no blocks. But if you're coming more often than what block, you're better off doing this one because ultimately that's going to be cheap on an annual basis. Um, this is one person. This is one. This is one person. Because uh, we don't we don't have families that do two programs, except for you. Yeah. Well, you don't do the Tai Chi, but um, so a lot of people do two programs. 
but because you're just doing one product, the block might work out to see which one. You, um, but you can um, figure out how many are going to come and then do the calculation to see what works uh, for you. And you know, part of it is because we have so few students now that I, I still have to you know pay for the space. <laughs> So, so whatever works easiest for you, but then if you find that there's a conflict, then we can talk about it. You know, so. um, but I thought this, if you're doing, if you're coming once, or uh, you're coming, were well, you coming three times a week? Yeah. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so, the, and plus you can, you know, then if your husband wanted to use the blocks, he could do it, he could come, Eric could come and use the block if, he, if it's a family sharing, you know. You, families can share the blocks. So you're not like buying a whole thing for him. So that just allows some flexibility. You know, right now we don't have any families other than you. Okay. All the families kind of went COVID. <laughs> so we have to see. We don't know even after se after September who's coming back. It's it's been like a you know everybody's just kind of worried. All, all the Tai Chi people, the seniors. They're definitely um, staying away for a while. So right now, yeah, we're gonna do one tomorrow, a Tai Chi class outdoor at 9:30. Yeah, so we're gonna try an outdoor class with some of people, but that's just a uh, just a meetup, just to see how people feel. Not not for the public. It's just really for students. So we're just gonna email them, have a Tai Chi class tomorrow, 9:30. So, yeah. So, if you wanted to just come and join the class and just do it, you could do that. It's not a teaching class, it's just going through it because a lot of people know the form. Yeah. So, but you know, do the, do the calculation how many times you're coming and see what works for you. And then, if um, you know, you try to keep it as simple as possible, that's all. Yeah, you can take this. Uh, is it the same? But, yeah. We, some of the things that she had to cross out. Yeah, yeah. So the email has it like this, but we figured that's confusing, so she changed it to this. That's for intro. So you're not intro, you're really in here. But, you know, all right. It's always a, you know, a confusing in the beginning for, the, for a new, new policy. Yeah, like three, three or four. So yeah, yeah. She learned online. Oh uh, yes. She's actually Kim's a colleague of Kim. She, she's a she's a musician. Yeah, she plays cello. But she's very good for. She did. She learned all the forms online. Yeah, I know. I I learned a lot online. She drives up from Rhode Island. Huh? She, yeah. So. She drives up on island. But students like that, that practice that hard and learn, you know, she has the discipline. That's how musicians are like that. Yeah. I'm tired. You're tired. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> relax, relax. Okay, where's Woody? How's Woody been? Woody doesn't feel comfortable. He doesn't like coming into the building. Oh, really? Oh, well. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's good, but overall. Oh, it's okay. Time will tell. So just do the videos. Yeah, I'll try to do it with Okay. Yeah. All right. Ready beer? Have a beer? I already started. Oh, uh, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. No, I don't have a code. No, you don't need a code. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, here. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, shut the door. Three, four. Is this mine or yours? I don't have one. I'm wearing one. Want a beer? Want a beer? Want wine? 
one veal. We have one one. No, I don't. Actually, I might get a cup of coffee. Does the coffee machine still work? Yeah, it works. <laughs> you want to make a movie? Yeah, you use beer as the water source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually beer. It's a purified water. I know, I know. You can't, you can't get any more beer than uh, beer. Uh, is Sunday show up today? Yeah, no one. Actually, Lisa was here. So like um, some members I don't know them. So I would look at the attendance right when they were last here. Um yeah, but actually if you click that, that okay. Should, tell yeah. me okay. Yeah, if they're expired. So um, I think January. Recently, actually. January. Oh no, April. So that was supposed to expire. I would not delete him because his intro looked like it went into co pandemic COVID. period. Okay. So he might still have a couple. Of, looks like he yeah, only took two classes. Yeah, two. Uh, hmm. I would leave him. Okay. Uh, he wants yeah. so, so, so that's one that, see, he was a trial. He really should have been turned into an intro. His number should have, you know, he should have been set up to intro. But I wouldn't do I'm it not now changing anything. because if yeah. you do it now, it's going to show up yeah, on I'm zero. Not, I'm not changing any yeah. membership or anything. I'm just yeah. deactivating. No, that's not even yeah. changing that. It's just oh. like. It's just like changing their color. Oh, gotcha. Like how they, gotcha. Um, co but, but when you, as soon as you change color, it cha it goes to Affects. zero because gotcha. it's like, oh, because they, new... they think that, you know, advancing to another color gotcha. depends on your attendance. So it's based on karate, you know. Oh, that's how they do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. There's like, oh, he's got like 280 classes. He should be another color. Kind of basing into it. It's not that they don't want to, but I think it's. It's just getting over that initial issue. You know, sometimes I think I'm trying to lock in for so long. It's the port of the